G'day! Welcome to another episode of the Krusty Bus Driver. I had an old girl get on the bus this week and she comes up to me and says, Krusty, I saw your video on the weekend and I was absolutely disgusted. You are so rude and crude. What were you thinking? You're not like that on the bus. What were you thinking, you silly fool? What was I thinking? Okay, that song I did last week was pretty crappy. But if she only knew what I was thinking at that moment in time, she probably would never catch my bus again. You know, because what would be going through my head would be, hey, you old bag, sit down and let me get on with my job. Hey, Krusty, you, you're so polite on the bus. Why do you have to do it on video? Basically, because I can't say what I want to think while I'm at work. So, this is my outlet to get it all out there. I mean, what am I thinking? And all bus drivers are the same. What are we actually thinking? Because we can't say what we really think. Like, I had another day when this lady got on, dressed like a prostitute. And my theory is, if it looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's got to be a fucking duck. So... She rocks up, hardly dressed, pulls out a wad of hundred dollar notes. First thing in the morning, I'm thinking, oh, here we go. I can't cash this. So she looks at me and she says, oh, hello, Krusty. I've only got hundreds. I suppose you'll have to give me a free ride. Now, what am I thinking here? A free ride. I bet she's never given a free ride. She can come and ride me. She can come and ride on me bus. As long as she pays her bloody fare. But a free ride? Never! Oh, but Krusty, I'm so sorry. I don't have any smaller change. And with the voice I just put on then, I'm not too sure if it was actually a guy or a Sheila. But that's not the issue. Pulling out hundred dollar notes to a bus driver, it's not on. But what can I say? Sorry, love. I can't give you a free ride. So, but if you sit down, and then maybe when I get a bit more change, you can come and pay for your ticket later. Oh, thank you, Krusty. You're such a darling. And at that point, what am I thinking? Well, I'm thinking I'm not going to get me free ride. <laughs> and then there was this other guy. He's sitting right behind me and someone sneezed in the bus. So what do I do? Good customer service. I say bless you. And they say, thank you. And then this guy sitting right behind me, he sticks his head round the corner and says, Hey, Krusty, did you know that when someone sneezes, it's just like having an orgasm? Now, what am I thinking? I'm thinking, bullshit! I said, how can you derive that from someone sneezing? I mean, when you sneeze, all that happens is fluids come running out of your body, your eyes get all puffy, and you feel like going to sleep. Maybe he's fucking got something there. But I, I, I've got to tell you, if I was to believe everything that I was told by customers on the bus, I would be one huge big bucket of useless information. Because people come out with the wildest things and expect you to believe it. And if they only knew what I was thinking when they're telling me these stories. As I smile and go, yes, is that so? Oh, I would never have thought that could ever happen. But really, behind the eyes. What am I thinking? I'm thinking, bullshit! That's what I'm thinking. But the one time when I can't say what I'm thinking is when I'm doing the school bus run. Now, school kids are the biggest bullshit artists on the block. I've got to tell you, they come up with the wildest stories. I remember one day, I had about 10 wallets that had been stolen. Yes. I had about three others that said their siblings had spent their bus money at the canteen. Mm, bad big brother. Mm, nasty big sister. Mm, yes, all right. Then, the only honest one out of the lot was one that said, the bully had pinched it. Because I fully understand that that can happen. The rest of it's all crap. So what am I thinking? I'm thinking, you bullshitting little shits. You're just trying to get a free ride because you know I can't refuse you. And they're all onto it. All of them. 
Well, not all of them. Because I do scare some of them. <laughs> but honestly, if they only knew what I was thinking. I mean, these young lads that come on and start bullshitting to me, all I really want to say is, hey, son, you got balls? Roll home. And then there's the girls. They think they can flatter their little eyelashes at me and get a free ride. Well, if only they knew what I was thinking. You know, what's going through my mind is, you got flaps? Fucking fly! I mean, <laughs> how do they expect me to make a living if none of them are going to pay their bloody fare? And then there's the bullshitting drug aim who gets on the bus and says he has no money for his fare. Yet when he opens his wallet, there's enough money for at least bloody four ounces of dope. I mean, no money for his fare. He's off to school. He's catching the bus to go on school. <laughs> but he's got no money for his bus fare. Bullshit. Now, I had one of these guys. A lot of these guys, they don't like sitting down. So, what he did was, after I said, all right, sit down, he walked up to the back door and he stands up. Now, there was about six other people on the bus. Plenty of seats, but he has to stand up. So, what am I thinking? I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to give this guy a ride for his fucking money, but he didn't pay any money, so he's just getting a fucking free fucking ride. So you want to know what I did? Next roundabout I got to, I hit the curb. Oh, he goes flying into the back door bay. I hit the other curb on the way out. Oh, he goes flying into the seat across from the door. <laughs> and then I turn around and go, I say, not been in country very long, still learning rules. <laughs> Don't know why I did that in an Asian accent, but it wasn't anything to do with Asians. It was just... So it wasn't my accent. So this guy, he finally decides to sit down with this sheepish look on his face going, wow, man. I think this bus driver's fucking crazy, man. Oh, just get me to be dealer, man. Please. So you know what I'm doing now? I've decided to catch up with the times. I've got a Twitter account, the Krusty Bus Driver on Twitter. Whenever any of these dickheads get on the bus, I'll give you a tweet so you know what's going on. Also, I've got a Facebook account under the Krusty Bus Driver again. And hopefully one day I'll get some stuff on there that you can go and have a look at. Oh, but it's all coming. I've still got the website coming as well. It's just... It takes me a while to catch up to modern technology. <laughs> but we're getting there. But also, if you're like me, a little technophobic, you can always just email me on the crusty bus driver at gmail.com. And I'm going to do this, right, because I'm going to try and put it on the screen underneath. But if it doesn't work, then the crusty bus driver at gmail.com sweet so until next time catch you later is it still on? is it still working? How do I switch this finger off? <laughs>